Well, hey everybody, Alex here. You know, my vintage collecting really started when I was a teenager, kind of by accident. My dad went to a flea market one day by himself, was looking around for other stuff, came across these exact cards while he was there, and he picked them up for me. Little did he know that years later I would put together the entire 1953 Bowman set. But he also picked up some 54 Bowmans and some 53 Tops, as you can see. And so now, many years later, I have finally gotten my very first 1953 Tops slab. And it's this card here, Mr. Bob Feller of the Cleveland Indians. So these 53 illustrations are really world famous. They're being kept alive by the Topps Living Set, which is really paying homage to this design. I think this is one of the nicest ones. And it's really cool to finally have the counterpart to my 1953 Bowman Feller card, which you can see here in the background. So let's get a closer look at this card, up close and personal, with this beautiful design. It just screams 50s, it screams vintage. Checking out the portrait and the artwork, the scoreboard in the background, some of the advertising, the sunny day with a little bit of clouds, you know, just all in all a really pleasing image. Of course, the Indians logo, all of it just ties together so nicely. There's a reason why this is one of the most famous sets that's ever been created. All right, let's enjoy the back of the card here. Uh, Robert William Andrew Feller, quite the name. You know, everybody calls him Bob, but he's got quite a big name. Uh, born in Grand Prairie, Texas. And here they call him Rapid Robert. So everybody, of course, knows that he's the heater from Van Meter. You know, it's easy to take these guys for granted. They're Hall of Famers. They've got these names that are burned into everybody's minds when it comes to baseball and greatness. But I love to look up little anecdotes from these guys' histories. And I found this great story about... Feller from when he first started. So this story takes place on July 6th, 1936. That's when Feller made his professional debut. He was 18 years old and he was entering an Indians Cardinals exhibition game in the fourth inning. His first pitch was a fastball strike to Bruce Orgodowski, a rookie catcher. Orgodowski bunted the second pitch and was thrown out by third baseman Sammy Hale. The second hitter was none other than Leo DeRocher who was the Cardinal shortstop at the time. And he attempted to intimidate Feller. He yelled out, keep the ball in the park, Busher. And Feller did, striking DeRocher out, swinging on three fastballs. The third hitter, reserve infielder, Arthur Garibaldi, did the same. In his three innings of work, Feller gave up an unearned run, and he struck out eight batters, including Rip Collins, Pepper Martin, and Leo DeRocher twice. On his second trip to the plate, DeRocher told the umpire, I feel like a clay pigeon in a shooting gallery. And afterwards, a photographer asked Cardinal ace Dizzy Dean if he would pose for a picture with the kid pitcher. Dizzy responded, if it's all right with him, it's all right with me. After what he did today, he's the guy to say. All right, guys, thanks so much for checking out the video. Take care. Talk to you all soon.